Hey, it's Cal here, and this week I was looking at a non-performing mortgage note in Cincinnati, Ohio, this property here. Uh, now, this was on a uh, list of uh, properties that had already gone into foreclosure, so the foreclosure process had started, um, and this specific borrower had purchased the property as a rehab. They were going to renovate it, update, and sell the property, so they got a short-term a rehab loan to do the construction on the property and I guess things went sideways for this borrower uh, because they stopped making payments as of September 2022 and their mortgage had matured in February of 2023 so uh, they were behind by like what three five payments six payments and so I was looking at this deal because it looks like it might make sense from the get-go um, and I'm just going to break it down for you and so you can see the numbers. So the broker price opinion on the value of this property is 200000 Okay. Now the borrower, the balance owing on the note was 109000 But because they are behind on their payments, there's late fees, back payments, all of that. Uh, when you and escrow that kind of thing everything adds up the borrower actually owes 147,000 to pay off this mortgage okay so that's the total payoff on this note and i talked to the seller of the note and they were willing to accept 100,000 okay so if i were to buy this note at 100k uh, the balance owing the total payoff is 147 including all the arrears and fees Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, now, the principal and interest payment that the borrower was paying until September of 2022 was $910 a month, and their interest rate that they had was 9.99%, which is kind of on the lower end for a rehab loan, but a, a typical short term loan for something like this where you're rehabbing a property. Okay, um, and so I think this is a deal that might make some sense because if the property is worth $200,000 and we're able to buy this note for 100,000, okay? And the payoff, the total payoffs, basically let's just assume 150, 147, okay? So if we were to buy this note and finish the foreclosure, which has already started, there's like 50K profit minus your attorney costs, okay? In a short-term deal, the foreclosure is already in progress, so you just have to buy it and finish it, okay? So from the, from the get-go, this looked like something I want to investigate further, but before I went too deeply into this, I wanted to get some eyes on the property. And so luckily, I have a contact in Cincinnati that actually drove by this property. And I was thinking, you know, if this is a rehab property that's almost complete, um, and there's going to be a lot of new stuff inside, right? It might not take much more work if we were to foreclose and take the property back to complete the rehab and sell it for a profit or maybe keep it as a rental or something like that. So I had high hopes that maybe this rehab's almost finished and it looks really good inside and brand new, right? And so he went in and had a look at the property and I guess it's in rough shape. It's really trashed out and not much has been done to the property. So it's gonna need a lot of work in order to get it to top market condition. And so me living in Canada and buying a, a property like this or buying a note and then taking back the property in foreclosure just is not the kind of deal I'd wanna be taking down um, from, from far away from another country. So I decided to opt out of this loan, just too much work needing to be done if we were to buy it and then foreclose and take the property back.